was used to transport prisoners. They were killing thousands daily. There was no will. There was no will to live. A lot of my friends, when they could no longer live, went on the fence. And when I say went on the fence, the slightest touch of the fence and you'd committed suicide. Your bowl was tied to your body. Your, your bowl, bowl was your life. Yeah, if you didn't have your bowl. If you didn't have your bowl, you didn't have your soup. If you didn't have your bowl, you didn't have your toilet. Because your bowl was your toilet. You understand? Well, how did you wash the bowl out? You didn't. Or you ate. Well, you didn't. You didn't. And you didn't wash it out. That was, that was your life. And then we were told that now it's your turn to go to the shower. You can imagine we didn't want to go, but we were sort of pushed into it. And there were pipes, and we really thought, well, that's it, but water came. But in the gas chambers, it was exactly the same. Pipes and people expected water to come down, but um, started to feel faint, couldn't breathe. And within five minutes, everybody had collapsed and was killed. Do you think they were playing with you psychologically, putting you in the showers and you not knowing what was going to happen? Yeah, they like to worry us, uh, well, worry is a bit mild, they like to shock us. Mm. Yeah. I saw 25 to 3,000 people going on the, on the gas chamber and uh, they closed the doors and uh, you know then i knew that the ss through the cyclone b you know from uh, above three four openings 